I've been on a pen diet in terms of an incredible temptation to buy a new fountain pen and that's one of those things about this particular hobby is once you get addicted you can spend a lot of money if you want to and I certainly have been gravitating towards more expensive pens in my fountain pen collection or introducing more expensive pens into my fountain pen collection. But as such, I have also decided to take my time and really decide about which pens I'm going to introduce into the collection and be a bit more selective about it. That being said though, a co-worker of mine, Michael, burst into my office very excitedly telling me that he had just ordered a new pen online and I get to live vicariously through him and he was very kind enough to let me unbox his new acquisition on my channel which is the Diplomat Aero Stripes pen. With the enthusiasm and excitement that Michael conveyed I ended up taking a quick look online and I was surprised to see that this pen actually had quite a cult following which got me intrigued. The other thing that got me intrigued in my initial quick look was the fact that this pen had a very unique look pointed ends on the top and the bottom. Now, I had heard about this pen, I never actually think, thought to take a closer look at this pen, and it just seemed to slip through my radar. So when Michael, very kindly again, offered to let me unbox this pen for this channel, I had to jump on the chance. Thank you so much, Michael. This pen is part of a gift set that he ordered here. It's the Aero Stripes edition, and it comes with a bottle of ink and a leather Holder. We'll take a closer look. Bit of a spoiler alert, I suppose. And I'm very keen to write with it. Let's dive over to the desk and take a closer look. The Diplomat Pen is a German company, and they've been around since 1922. So Michael ordered this from Michael ordered this from a Canadian company online. I think it was Stilo Pen out of Montreal. This is an international guarantee certificate. It's nice that they still do this, that they give you a card to fill out as if you were gonna mail it in. But you can actually go to the website diplomatpen.com and you can fill out all this information there as well. This is the Aero Stripes pen. It comes with ink. Standard black ink here. It's interesting, this actually says that by Octopus Fluids. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually a real pen co uh, ink company or not. Fascinating. I'm going to ink that up in a second here, so I'll just put it off to the side. Got a pen holder case. It's made out of leather. Clearly it says genuine leather. Seems pretty sturdy. Very stiff. A little bit of flexibility there. And then, of course, the pen itself. It's quite gorgeous to look at. I'm generally not into metal pens myself, but this is a thing of beauty, that is for sure, in terms of the stripe. And I can't describe how this feels, but it's got a nice variegation to the pen. These lines, these black lines here are actually little indents. So it's got a nice grip to it as well. Very sturdy looking clip with little to no give. It's very, very sturdy. Pointed ends. Interesting, it's got that diplomat flower pattern or uh, logo, I suppose I should say. Oh, very smooth opening. Metal grip section. Beautiful steel nib. This isn't a fine. Very lovely detailing the logo again. Diplomat since 1922. Plastic nib section. Comes with a converter. Just a friction fit international converter. It's a very robust pen. You can feel the weight of it in your hands here. This is one of my favorite things about this pen. It's the quiet click. It has a little bit of pressure. Up the body a little bit. There we go. A little bit of pressure. And it's a very subtle click. Detailing of diplomat writing and Germany. It's a lot of branding on this pen. The gift set, Michael bought it for $280, I believe, from the distributor or from the online pen shop. I think you can get it directly from diplomats themselves for $260. In comparison to other pens, 
Here's a Y Studio. Here's a Twisby Eco, Conklin, and a Pilot Metro. I'm taking off the caps, it's fairly comparable to the Conklin. Just perhaps a slight touch longer, but it is shorter in the body and the grip section than the Pilot Metro. According to the website, the pen is made out of aluminum. It is hefty. Total weight of the pen is 41 grams. Let me ink this up and we'll take a closer look at our writing sample. The octopus fluids. And again, this is the fine nib. Oh, it's an incredible writing experience. Steel nib. It's perfectly balanced in the hand. Oh, it's, this is an absolute pleasure. This pen was not on my radar. Nib is incredibly smooth. True fine in this particular nib. Flow is perfect. This pen actually is really, really nice to write with. It's an absolute pleasure. I can really feel the weight of the pen as my writing session continues. This is a wonderful pen. My initial impression as I started writing was perfect. And as I continued writing, I did notice hand fatigue. And I think it's just the significant weight of the pen. Gorgeous though. Pen comes in very many different colors and variations. Much like the Lavi Safari, this pen seems to have a bit of a cult following as I take a look online. I think Michael is going to be quite happy with this pen. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just put this into the holder. Very clearly designed for the pen, which obviously makes sense as part of the gift set. As a bonus, Michael told me that he ended up buying two cheap pens in his order here in order to top up to get the free shipping. And this is X-Pen. Now, Michael did warn me that these pens were not anything to write home about in terms of the quality compared to the Diplomat Aero. This is a pen from Pen USA. It's a nice wooden pen. Looks like it's just an iridium pen with a cartridge. And Michael said that he had spent somewhere around five to ten dollars, he thinks, on each of these pens. And this is the X pen. Also an iridium nib. Did it actually say iridium? Yeah. Both iridium nibs and both in fines. They're fairly lightweight pens, nothing crazy. This looks like it's some combination of plastic and metal. Fairly robust. Nope. You can see that the clip is quite loose, actually. And I'd be very terrified of completely pulling that out. Clip is pretty loose on the pen USA pen here as well. It's like a little balsam fur type wood. So five to fifteen dollars here. I haven't even really looked it up. Michael told me. Not to bother. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick look at the writing sample. He's already got cartridges in here, clearly. This is the Pen USA. This is nowhere near as smooth as the Diplomat Aero. The grip section is plastic. It's very flimsy in the hand. Not very well machined or thought out in terms of the hard edge here. Feels like you could almost, if you squeezed hard the grip section hard enough, you could crush it. I don't know if that's actually true. It's just the impression that this pen is giving. It was very scratchy on the, on the nib.
clicking, the pen clicking. You can see how it kind of wobbles side to side. It's not quite machined correctly or just designed properly. This is the X-Pen plastic grip section again. Easier on the transition from the grip section into the body there, so it's a little bit more subtle in the hands, which is nice. This is like writing with nails. This is also fine. Looks like the nib is a little dried out. I'm just going to go give little water. That's improved the ink flow ever so slightly. Very much like writing with nails. Inconsistent wing flow seems to come in and out. Water improved it a little bit, but not much. I would say an interesting entry level pen. Perhaps not one to spend money on, if you can splurge a little bit more than perhaps the 5 to 15, I would certainly look at different options. There are many options out there in that category range that are perhaps better writers, such as the Platinum entry-level pens, the Pilot entry-level pens, in that 20 to 25, perhaps that $30 range. But if you can splurge, I'd definitely go for a little bit more. You might enjoy the writing experience a bit better. Not too bad at their, at their I guess, initial price point. You do get what you pay for in these if they are truly $5 to $15. If you compare the pens and the Diplomat Arrow, 260 to $208. Very beautiful, very consistent, very lovely. A little bit heavy in the hand. The Pen USA wooden pen here. It writes fine. The ink flow is a little all over the place. You can see that it went a little bit broad in certain instances, but generally fine. And then the X pen, very, very difficult to write with, I would say. It wasn't a pleasurable writing experience. Diplomat Arrow was not on my radar for pens to buy, and it's interesting taking a closer look online, as I mentioned in the unboxing there. This pen seems to have quite the following and people really love it. There's a lot of different color variations in it and generally people think it's a great daily driver. And I'm inclined to maybe perhaps add one to my collection. I do think it's quite a lovely pen. I'm a little bit wary of the heavy weight of the pen, just in terms of longer writing sessions. But the other two pens, the X-Pen and the Pen USA, I feel like they're not pens for me. I, I certainly didn't enjoy the writing experience. And at their price point, five to ten to five to fifteen dollars, it's likely worth a consideration if you're entering into the fountain pen world. If you've got a Diplomat Aero pen, I would love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments section below. If you like what you saw in this video, please consider clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much for joining me. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.